Going from point images to blends and weighting is the theme today. I will start with some base images, blend them up, create something cool. Secondly, I'm gonna add some fine tuning elements for these images. I had so much fun making this, and if you enjoy this, subscribe for more. Right, so let the magic begin. All right, so what we're gonna do is open up uh, Mid Journey, if you haven't already. Um, if you haven't got Mid Journey, um, subscribe to the um, platform, 10 bucks a month at the moment. Pretty reasonable for what you get out of it. I'm a big fan. Um, Stable Diffusion, Leonardo, also other options. So if you want to, you can check out one of my other videos, which will um, help you get on um, on the path to using those two pieces of software. All right, so let's go straight into our Discord space. And um, I've set up my own bot and um, to keep my images private. You can check out my other video to see how to keep it private. But let's um, let's start off with why we're here today. So it's about blending and also about waiting. All right, so I'm gonna do a walkthrough just so you can see what I've done actually does work. And it's not just some random command that I throw at you. All right, so um, first things first, I wanted to get an American flag as a nice sort of base that I could use to blend with other items. All right, so we can got, I've got American flag over here. I've then just up, upscaled it to get the image that I would like to use. All right, and then I thought what would be even cooler is if I had an American flag draped around the Statue of Liberty. That's always a pretty fantastic thing to see. And uh, if you were in Photoshop or if you were in any other sort of um, uh, space, you would have to do quite a lot of work to get it to work and make it look good. Right, so let's try that out. So we're gonna get a picture of the Statue of Liberty. I quite like this one over here, quite majestic, nice and uh, um, airy. And um, what I've done over here is I've done the blend command. So that's really, really simple to do. So what you need to do is just type in forward slash blend. And then it'll ask you which image you want to be put in here. So it does matter which order you put in. So if you want to have the um, flag wrapped around the, the Statue of Liberty, or if you want the Statue of Liberty wrapped around the flag. So have a play around with um, the combinations that you would like, and I think um, you get some different results over here. So really simple. Um, you could actually add more things. So if you wanted to do the American flag, the Statue of Liberty, and a sunflower, it would actually add all three elements and combine them um, randomly. I'm gonna give you some stuff. Um, you can just add image three, four, five, etc. All right, so give that a give that a play um, and see what you come out with. All right, so what I've got over here is the um, the image, which is going to be the Statue of Liberty first and then the flag. And as you can see, it looks all pretty good. All right, so statue with the flag wrapped around her and it, look, it looks pretty decent. All right, and I've just upscaled this image over here because I quite like that one. All right. Let's, um, we can also do a bit of a zoom, all right? So you can just take that exact same image over here um, and you can do a blend and then you can do a zoom, all right? And um, it'll ultimately start zooming out of your images. So all pretty good, all pretty decent. Hopefully that's given you some ideas of how to use the blend. All right, the second example of the blend is really around using the American flag all right, and one of my Batmobiles from one of my other videos. So I quite like the shape of this uh, car. And what I'll do is uh, I wanted to blend it to see what it would come up with. And what it did was actually pretty, pretty phenomenal. It basically took my image and converted it into like a satin sheen and added some color aspects to, to the uh, base image. Um, so as you can see, wildly different, but pretty decent result actually. All right, so I was quite impressed with that. So that was great. All right. What I wanted to try next was to give a um, 
blend a really good sort of example. So I wanted to do a charcoal line art of a Ford GT40. All right, so something with no color, but with a bit of um, um, option to let the engine work here. So I chose this one over here on the bottom left, which is um, upscaled three or upscale three or four, I can't remember which one I did, yep, all right, so this one over here, and this one over here, so this is image number three, all right, so as you can see, pretty decent um, charcoal image of a GT40, all right, I then said, let's create a combined blend of that uh, GT40 and the American flag, so I put the car first, and then I put the American flag, and as you can see, it has created a pretty decent looking charcoal image with the American flag flying proudly in the background. And uh, you can choose which one you like over here. So again, that's, a, that's the beauty of the blend. So you can take something charcoal line, blend it with something a bit more um, that's out there and you'll get a, a pretty decent effect. All right, so I've upscaled this one over here because I quite enjoyed that one. All right. Let's do more blending, all right? The reason I wanna do more blending is I wanna see if I can take three elements. So base it, layer it, and ultimately expand on it. So what we're gonna do over here is I've just created a sunshine, um, ultra realistic, and I was actually looking for a sunflower. I was looking for something a bit more yellowy, all right? Because we had a lot of blue and a lot of red, and I wanted to add, look, look for something yellow. So let's, let's take the, the sunflower image over here, upscale it. And then let's um, combine our image, this one over here, with the sunflower. All right, as you can see, nice and vibrant and yellow. All right, and this is what it's come up with. So it's taken the elements, the, the American flag, the four GT40, given it a nice shine to it and combine it with yellow flowers or yellow lighting. All right, so that's the beauty of the blend element here. So you, you're basically taking components of different images, layering them up and building up an, uh, building up an image. So all quite cool, I thought. Um, and you, your imagination can run wild with you over here. Um, and that's what exactly what happened with me. All right, so I've just upscaled this one. All right, um, I wanted to see if I could uh, um, do a bit more with a Willy's Jeep because I quite like a Willy's Jeep. All right, so um, created some cool images over here. And what we wanted to try and do was if I could start playing around with some um, blending of that Willy's Jeep. So I basically just created different versions of the same Jeep here, just upscaled them uh, depending on which one I liked. And um, you can have a look at the um, uh, the prompts to create that Willy's Jeep. All right, so what I did over here was, again, taking that Jeep, blending it with the American flag. So let's have a squiz over here. So we've got the Jeep all looking pretty fine and rugged, and ultimately the flag, which is the exact same image. And you can probably try different flag images if you wanted a tattered flag or a, a, um, a, a shinier flag or whatever you can just you can play around with it right so what it's done it because it's actually blended those two items so we've got a flag flying with the willies jeep and all looking pretty majestic so again great example of blending two things together all right now what i wanted to do was i wanted to see if i can add um some extra items to it so if you haven't seen my cinematic or my um uh other videos, I encourage you to take a look. It'll give you an explanation of why I've chosen certain cameras, certain types of lighting, um, added in some uh, keywords over here. So that looks all pretty good. So again, we've got the American flag waving and all happy days. All right, um, I just upscaled that one because I quite enjoyed that. All right, another one that I upscaled. All right, so what I want to try and do now is change it up a little bit to have um, people and characters. I quite enjoy the old World War II sort of um, space and um, obviously massive tragedy, but again, I quite like the, uh, the part that America had to play in it and winning the war. All right, so what we're gonna do is just take that um, information 
and um, have a flag waving all right all looking pretty decent and um, here's a nice sort of image of these soldiers walking towards the flag obviously it's a bit of a distant memory um, but they know why they're doing it it's for king and country all right so happy days all that's quite cool all right so this over here is now where we start moving away from the blend concept and from the natural concepts um, so the previous example of here was just straightforward american flag waving no blending none of that kind of stuff just pure image all right this over here is going to start digging into a bit more where waiting takes precedent all right so willie's jeep uh, giving it a weight of three the american flag is a three and we wanted to see what this does so what we're doing here is emphasizing the willie's jeep and emphasizing the american flag all right so if you set these things to different weights so one two three four five it'll ultimately give you different um, outputs all right so i quite um, quite enjoyed playing around with this and it took a little bit of tweaking and a little bit of playing um, but you can you can start seeing what what it can do here all right then what i thought i'd do is play around a little bit more with the weighting um, so this is not blending this is now all purely weighting so space rocket giving it a weight of one american flag a weighting of three so i want the flag to be quite prominent and i want a futuristic world to be even to be as prominent as the american flag all right and again pop in some of these other items over here so futuristic world american flag pretty pretty strong in this over here all right but again other pretty cool images all right so um what I thought I would do then is just sort of um, increase the rocket to a two, American flag is a three, and a futuristic world is a one. All right, so as you can see, very different sort of images that have been created over here. And um, again, just choosing what you like. So have a play around with the weighting. So the way it works is you put your, your term and double colon, and um, you would then ultimately put your weight. All right, so that's all pretty cool. The next thing I wanted to show you was the American flag and um, doing a bit of a zoom out, all right? So what I created was just this base image over here, American flag flying proudly with some soldiers walking along. All right, so I upscaled that image. All right, so here it is over here. And then I went into custom zoom, all right? So if you click on custom zoom, it's gonna ask you to pop in extra pieces of information so this is going to use your base plus it's going to ask you what else you want to do so what i thought i'd do is like let's add a sherman tank to it right so i wanted a sherman tank in this picture of here supporting our gis and off we go all right so as you can see over here here's the actual command with the zoom out function all right but i've added in a sherman tank all right as you will notice i've added a weighting to it to be a sherman tank too so i want it to be quite prominent all right so as you can see in these pictures over here so top uh, right quadrant and the bottom left quadrant has got a sherman tank all right so i quite enjoyed that um being displayed for me and here's the actual blown up image all right so sunlight um natural lighting um looks like a pretty good uh, uh image there looks like you're almost in the war right all right so again pretty fantastic i thought all right so again weighting of the tank brought it into prominence if i didn't have that weighting there it would have sort of left it out or it would have made it way too prominent all right so play around all right and um i think last but not least is um having a beautiful american sweetheart i think this is always a good uh, a good poster pin-up image that i quite enjoy all right um, and i want to just demonstrate a different um, types of weighting over here so we've got america's sweetheart woman as a prominence two or weighting of two the willies jeep uh, with a weighting of three and the american flag with a weighting of two all right as you can see here the woman is quite focal the willies jeep is there or thereabouts and the american flag is draped and all over the place in all four images over here so again it's doing what you want it to do again playing with the weights has a profound effect here playing with the canon uh, or the, the different types of cameras also has a profound effect um, i quite like the canon because it gives a nice good realistic image here 
All right, so what we've got over there, so as you can see, these are the pictures that have been generated. And what I've done now is I've weighted the um, uh, the woman a little bit lower. So woman is a two, it was a one, where she was a two. The Jeep is a two, where it was a three. And the American flag is a two, where it was a two as well. So basically just readjusting all of these. And as you can see, the image uh, creation has now obviously been um, adjusted for uh, my weights. All right, so all very cool. I like those. All right. Um, I thought what I would do is just have something without any weights. So just to see what image journey would do without weights, without um, any of my tampering. And um, as you can see over here, it's American Sweetheart, blonde, cowboy boots. And it pretty much hits the brief, um, right? So American flag waving. All right. So again, playing with weights will give you a bit more fine grain control over certain elements and create different seed. Um, but out of the box, Mid Journey actually does it pretty well. So these images over here are just sort of straight out of the box um, and looking pretty decent, if you ask me. All right, and um, uh, just another one over here where I was playing with the, with the weighting. All right, so same image, just playing with the weighting and um, looking to get a bit more um, granularity. All right, so as you can see here, it's a World War II Jeep now. So I've weighted it to a um, World War II Willys Jeep, number three. All right, so over here was the Willys Jeep and um, it gave me a pretty newer version. So, so again, all pretty decent. And I think these are great examples of how you can use blend how you can use weighting and how you can start basically making poster images or images that are not run of the mill, but really sort of compelling um, with those cinematic or even those action shots. All right, if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe and check out my next videos.